Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Julie G's Eden, and I'm going to stamp it. I've started off with Nelteex Formula 2 and Julie G Eden. This is very beautiful, funky green. And I topped it off with Posh. Today, I'm going to be using the Lena Make Your Mark 03 plate, and I'm going to use this wavy design. Um, I did use this recently, but I'm going to do it with Coffee Addict, Metallic Mango, and Metallic Red all from Clean Color. They're not stampin' polishes, but we're gonna use them. And Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper. And I'm just gonna kinda do like a gradient style stamping with these colors. Um, I did not plan this out, I just did it. So, <laughs> hopefully it turns out okay, you know. And the red shows up really good, and then the Coffee Attic kinda disappears a little bit. I can still see it. And then the mango one is, you know, it, it shows up pretty well. Um, but you know, you win some, you lose some. I don't call this a winner winner, but I wasn't really unhappy with it. I wore it for a couple of days, so I couldn't have been too unhappy with it. I did want to use this design. One of my subscriber friends had asked me if I'd ever used that design any other way than, you know, just using white and uh, uh, wanted to make sure that I squeezed in a video, you know, using the same design with different colors. And um, this is what I went with. And this is on my shorter nails. This design might have looked a little bit better over on my longer nails, but I already had something going on over there. So I am cleaning off my plate in between, um, you know, designs uh, with just pure acetone and a cotton ball. But I really, you know, I, you know I, I would like to say I really, really love this one. I didn't love it, but I did like it. So that's, you know, I used fall colors, which I thought were appropriate. And my plate's sticking to the mat. Sorry. Um, but, you know, I figured I want to show everything on my channel. The successes, the failures. the And I don't consider this one a failure. I don't want you guys to feel sorry for me or... You know anything I just don't want you guys to think oh she thought that was just wonderful so here I'm gonna go in with some tape and try to get off some of this excess polish and I found that these clean color polishes just pop off really well with the tape and if you're very careful you don't have to do any cleanup with acetone or nail polish remover you can get all of it up so, but I am going to go in with the acetone because I'm not being as careful. I'm kind of in a hurry because I'm filming. Um, but if I was just sitting and watching a show doing my nails, then, you know, I would have had all the time to mess with it. So, there we go. I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat, as usual. Seal that stamping in. And I, like I said, I don't consider it a failure, but it's not, it's not my favorite design ever. Um, in my head, it looks so much different, but that's okay. Win some, lose some, and some you just tolerate until you're ready to paint your nails again. <laughs> but I did like the base color of this, and I think if I'd have gone with just the red and the mango, it would have been just fine. I think the coffee messed it up. But I am a coffee addict, and maybe that's what the problem was. I'd had too much caffeine. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up with Woody here just a second. You know, get some of that excess polish out of my wells or walls. So here it is, all done. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Bye.